Hey movers, it's your girl Mary Chris and today I have an upper body workout for you. I'm just working with a medium set of dumbbells and water of course just in case I get thirsty. But with that said, let's get straight to it and move. So for our warm-up, we're going to start out with some side taps opening up that chest. I want you to exhale, and even though we're stepping out nice and slow here, I want you to think about bringing in your hips, right, tucking your pelvis, and extend out, open up here, let those arms come out. Side to side for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, and let those back legs follow as you go into the standing rotations. We want to feel stiff as we're switching through our movement, the upper body power. Good, and then we're going to come down to the mat. We're actually going to start on the floor. We're going to have our T-spine rotations, a little extra depth in five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down into this quadruped tabletop position. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take our fingertips over our ear, and you're gonna come down trying to get that elbow to meet that wrist and rotate up. Let that eye line follow and exhale as you come up. Nice and slow. Three, two, and one. Hands down, switch sides, take it in, feel that rotation, and up. It's okay if you feel locked, right? You don't want to over-rotate. We're just encouraging that mo uh, movement as we get going. I was trying to say moment. We're encouraging that moment in time. It'll get there. You'll have your moment. Last three, two, and one. And let's just add one more thing in here. Love me some cat cow. Down and up. I've called this cat cow for the longest, and then I've just heard camel. I'm here for it. I like camels. <laughs> I went to Egypt and I'm obsessed. So call it what you want cat cow, cat camel, whatever your favorite animal is. Take it in and out. Let's three, two, and one. All right, so hope you're feeling mobile. We're gonna get started with our weights, okay? I'm gonna go through the movements first, so that way you know what we're pushing through here. But we're gonna go ahead and hit everything one time. Okay, so I need you here with me and present. We're gonna make it happen. So our first movement, we're gonna go ahead and sit down. So you're sitting upright. You're gonna lean back until you feel that core engagement, like you'd set up for a Russian twist. You're gonna have your weights by side and you're gonna go into a curl from here, nice and controlled. If your low back starts to kick in, I want you to bring it up to a seated position. Then our second movement, we're gonna come onto our back, flush that low back to the mat. Dumbbells are gonna be by side. We're gonna press up through the heels, extending straight up by that chest. All right, and then our last movement, we're gonna keep our hips down Flush that low back to the mat. Again, you want to feel that core engagement. No space, okay? Right? And we're going to have our weights here, palms facing each other, and we're going to take it into the skull crusher. What I want you to notice is that your elbows stay in place. You're not going to recruit any muscles and take it back. Skull crush. Don't do it, but that, it, it makes a lot of sense, okay? So let's grab your weights. Okay, find your seated position. Lean back, here we go in five, four, three, two, and we are up. And I want you to have that controlled tempo on the way down. Oh yes, elbows still stay by side. You got that extra core kicking in. We're already halfway through. This is one time you can push through each movement. I'm mixing it up. 
You're gonna make it. We're gonna make it to the finish line together. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take it to your back. We're gonna go into that glute bridge hold. You're gonna lift up here, add that squeeze up top, hips tucked, and then I want you to press straight up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Want that extra movement there. And then if you need to, you can totally drop your hips, but just to add a little extra movement right there. Like tap on the ground and then you take it back up. Keep those hips up. I caught myself. They were sinking. Not no more. Last five, four, three, two, and one, take it down. You're gonna bring your elbows in by side. Again, flush to the back, right? Act like you got a $100 bill back there. Ain't nobody getting it. Tuck it and keep it safe. We press straight up and we take it into skull crush in three, two, and one. Take it nice and easy on the first rep, especially if you're not used to the weight. I want you to feel in control. Keep those elbows in line. Come on, 15 seconds. Oh, you feel that work. Don't worry, we're gonna move on <laughs> to the next position. Weights are gonna go down in three, two, and one. First circuit done. Off the list. We're gonna switch over to our Superman get-ups. I like came up with this randomly one day in a training session and I'm like, that feels like work, but like fun work. So, you know, add the name Superman and it's fine. So let me show you all the movements first. Okay, you're gonna come down to the ground. You're gonna press up. When you're in that high plank, you're gonna drive one knee in, drop all the way down, press up, and take it to the other side. So you're gonna constantly repeat that till we're done with those 30 seconds. Then our next movement, we're gonna come into a half kneeling position. Okay, so it's like a lunge, your knees down, and I want you to hinge forward a little bit. You're gonna take your weights, we're gonna come into a row, keep your elbows pinned in place, and we're gonna extend back for those triceps again. Nice and toned, okay, show it off. And then final one, we're gonna work on our posture a little bit. So you're gonna have your toes tucked here, and you're gonna come into like a prayer position. So your thumbs are gonna come to your nose here, you're gonna extend out into a cactus shape and you're gonna press straight up, draw it back in the way you came and bring it in. So cactus, window shutter, whatever your visual preference is, that's what we're gonna do. So starting with a Superman get up, down we go. We're gonna take it up in three, two, and one. Up, drive. Exhale as you come up. Release those hands. If you need to just practice, you can come onto your knees and then drop it down. Otherwise, if you're with me, let's go. Come on, less than 10. Hard to talk during this one. Five, four, three, two, and one. I gotta say I'm happy that was, that was the one. I gave it everything on that one. All right, getting into our half kneeling, Tricep kickbacks, split stance right here, lean forward, three, two, and one, row position, extend. You should feel that burning right now. Take your time, exhale. As you come out, get your breath back. Maybe that Superman got you like it did me. Come on. Keep your core tight. Five, four, three, two, and time. Weights down. We're going into our cactus press. Okay, so you can tuck those toes here. You can keep it flat if you want a little stretch there. I'm gonna keep it tucked. I'm gonna come this angle so you can see. Thumbs on nose, slight hinge forward. Three, two, and one. Open up, press straight up. If you're feeling it in your back, maybe the position feels a little odd, come up here and press. Okay, make it your own. But we're working on just that mobility. 
Let's go five, four, three, two, and time. I think it's time for a water break. Take your break if you need it. If not, no prob. I just like that hydration. Make it your own. For this last one here, we're going to come to standing position. We're going to grab our weights, but I'm going to grab one to start, okay? So first position, we're going to have our weights out here, pelvis tucked. We're going to go into a standing rotation right here to engage the core. After that, we're going to go into an alternating bicep curl, because why not just jack these up even more? And then our last one, we're going to come into that hinge position again, but we're going to squeeze our back like we did in the tricep kickbacks. We're going to stay here, and we're going to drop one side at a time to keep that tension in the back, promote that good posture, so you walk around like the thing. Okay, so grab one weight. This is the last circuit, okay? I'm telling you right here, I'm keeping clear communication. You can do this three, two, and one, and out. <sighs> Let that back foot pivot. So right here, notice that my shoulders are dropped. They're not up here. <sighs> Keep it relaxed. That's the hardest part, right? Look and relax while you're working. If it feels like a lot, bring that dumbbell in because that takes away the stress off the core, okay? Stay here for five. Four, three, two, and one. Quick little break. Grab your second dumbbell. Going into that alternating curl. Right here, right here. Let's go. In five, four, three, two, and one. One side at a time. Control on the way down. Don't let those weights take you. You are strong. You are in control. You have that mind muscle connection. You're feeling good. You're feeling good about yourself right now. Okay, last 15 seconds. There we go. Good work. And then we go into those eccentric rows. Fancy way of a, just keep holding it, okay? Just keep holding it. Last three, two, and one. Okay, relax those arms. I'm just gonna keep the weight because I don't wanna bend down and get it. That's where I'm at right here. This feels good. Hinging over, push those hips back, soft bend in the knee. The more you're hinged over, the easier it's gonna be. Three, two, and squeeze here, and drop one at a time. So one thing I want you to notice about that hinge, if you're high up, sometimes the tendency to, can be to come up into those traps. That's why we wanna push to stay here. Here we go, last 15 seconds. Control on the way down and back. Control and consistency is the name of the game. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna learn it right. Those higher reps will come later as well as weight. Come on, five, four, three, two, and time. Just like that, just a little sample into what your circuits can look like, right? For that upper body work and push. You can go ahead and hit this again for another round, whatever you need to do to feel good, okay? So let's go ahead and go into our stretch. I wanna stretch out the bicep here. Take that palm out, low five. Okay, and take that hand here and extend and hold. Feel free to shift side to side. Nice little pump. Shake it out and switch. Hold out here, this side's feeling tighter. This is why you gotta do each side. Good work, take a nice breath. Now let's come down to the mat. Okay, we'll come into a child's pose. Extend back. If you want to, go ahead and come onto those fingertips. Stretch those lats a little bit. Settle in. Let's take those hands to the right side. Okay, and I want you to think about placing your left palm as you're stretching towards the right side left palm and pull away from your palm. It'll give you that extra stretch. And walk your hands over to the other side. So now that you're towards the left, right palm is down and pull away from your palm as an extra stretch and tension. Three, two, and time. All right. We did it, nice and easy, see? 
We just gotta stay calm about it. We just have to push through and keep moving. That's why you're a mover because you stay moving. You're gonna meet yourself where you're at and you're gonna end up in a whole other place and you're gonna keep freaking going. I'm so proud of you. Let me know how you feel in the comments below and what workout do you want next to keep you moving? So until next time, stay strong in life.